Hey guys, I just wanted to do a quick tutorial on how I store my meat when we go to the cat farmers market. See, I got like ground turkey. This is almost three pounds for twelve sixteen. And that's another one for twelve sixteen. And then this one is the ground Italian sausage. I think it's like two pounds for nine sixty one. Then I got my ground lamb because we love ground. Tur ground burgers, lamb burgers. That's twenty eight, twenty nine. I got about two pounds of the ground turkey. No, actually, it's almost six pounds for sixteen eleven. So it's probably I think I requested for like six, no eight turkey legs. We got our steak, steak sixteen ninety two. That's a porterhouse steak. Three porterhouse steaks. No, four port of house steaks, some chicken legs. So that's three pounds for seven seventy-eight. And we got the chicken thighs. That's three pounds for six eighty-eight. And then the chicken breasts, that's twenty-five. And that was like six pieces, but two breasts come together. And then we got the fruit. Oh, we got all this fruit. My fiance, he can only do lactose milk. I'm going to try some jackfruit. I got some kale, some other little vegetables and stuff. And then I got some chicken wings for everything and some eggs. So everything in total um, came up to probably like $326, which helped us. I feel like we save a lot when we go to the cab farmer's market, especially on meats. Um, cause vegetables and stuff like that, vegetables and fruit, you can get for cheap from Publix or Kroger. Um, so, but for us, we feel like we make, get more bang for our buck when we go to the cab performance market. So today I'm just going to do a little quick video of just showing you guys how I storage and separate everything and, um, put in, in the freezer or wherever it needs to go. So stay tuned and enjoy. When I store my meats, I use um, saran wraps, freezer bags, and then I have my markers for labeling, and then I have a bucket of water or a pot of water uh, filled up kind of halfway or not too much, not too much because when you dip the meat in there, it's going to um, overflow, so not too much water. But a quick tip I've, I've learned is because I don't have a suctioner, like to take the air from the bag to keep the meat fresh um, is to dip the sandwich bag. Once you put the meat in there, you dip the sandwich bag inside the water um, all the way up to the top and then you leave like a small hole. You close the bag and leave like a small hole um, so it can get that air out and then you zip lock the bag and then that takes away um, the air and it helps your meat stay fresh and the saran wrap also helps your meat stay fresh as well when you put it in the freezer um, I did not know that you know when you get your meats and they be in those little carts you're supposed to take them out and still put them in the freezer bag so I still would be doing this so my doing this so my meats would stay fresh but that's just a quick little tip for you guys
Hey guys, so I'm coming to Koja with um, storing my meats. This probably took me about 30, uh, about 40 minutes to do. So after I store everything, I do a cleanup with bleach and Clorox and stuff like that to make sure I don't have any contam contaminations. Um, and I also make sure through the whole process that I'm washing my hands after I finish touching everything, every type of meats, because I don't want anybody to get sick. So thank you for watching. Love you guys.